Hey, welcome back. We're in the book of Exodus, chapter 7, and now verses 14 through 18. Let's see what happens there. Then the Lord said to Moses, Pharaoh's heart is stubborn. He refuses to let the people go. Go to Pharaoh in the morning as he is going out to the water and station yourself to meet him on the bank of the Nile. And you shall take in your hand the staff that was turned into a serpent. You shall say to him, The Lord, the God of the Hebrews, sent me to you, saying, Let my people go, that they may serve me in the wilderness. But behold, you have not listened until now. Thus says the Lord, By this you shall know that I am the Lord. Behold, I will strike the water that is in the Nile with the staff that is in my hand, and it will be turned to blood. The fish that are in the Nile will die, and the Nile will become foul, and the Egyptians will find difficulty in drinking water from the Nile. So God now gives instructions to Moses. Pharaoh has not relented. Moses is to meet Pharaoh at the Nile and declare his stubbornness in not following what God has said to do, to let his people go. And then he is to declare to Pharaoh the plague that God is about to implement on the Nile River and on Egypt. Now remember, to the Egyptians, the Nile River itself is a god. They've kind of got this pantheistic view where God is in everything, and certainly in the Nile River, Egypt, the, the Nile is Egypt. And so God implements, God begins his showdown with Pharaoh. He, he just starts right at the front. He's going to start right with the, the god Nile, which is a god. He's going to start by showing his power over that supposed purported god of Egypt. God goes straight to the, the very source of Egyptian civilization, and he starts the duel right there. He isn't messing around. And right there at the Nile, he's going to make his first demonstration, his first part of the plagues type demonstration. Now, here's a question. How does Moses know to approach Pharaoh at the Nile? Does Pharaoh put his schedule out there and everybody knows where he's going to be? Well, there's lots of ways this could have happened. God certainly knew ahead of time, and God could have just shown Moses, go to that place, and indeed the text looks as though that's one serious way. Uh, Pharaoh could have been known to go out there each morning. Maybe he goes out and does a religious ritual at the river. Uh, Pharaoh could have been going out. He's a, he's a living in luxury. He is Pharaoh. He can do whatever he wants. He may be going out to have a morning bathing in the, in the Nile. Well, if so, his bath got interrupted here because, um, yeah, God knew right where he would be because God knows where everybody will be at any point in time. So God sends Moses and Pharaoh gets interrupted this morning. Maybe he's just out taking a morning walk. But God knew where he would be, and God sends his servant, and here we have plague number one. So that's the encounter we're going to have here. The encounter is set. Everything is lined up, and tomorrow morning in our next devotional, we'll carry right on and see what happens when Moses and Pharaoh collide at the Nile. See you then.